Hey everyone, so today I've got a really special fruit to show you guys. These here are called mangosteens, or the queen of fruits. Now I was so surprised to find these in New Zealand. Um, they are quite a rarity, and I've never seen them or tried them before. Um, I was even talking to the lady at the fruit shop, and she said a lot of people were coming in and asking what these were. Um, so yeah, they are not very well known in New Zealand, and also in a lot of countries they're not well known either. So if you haven't seen mangosteens before, it's probably due to restrictions on imports, um, which makes them not very readily available in a lot of countries. So in places like the US, these were actually banned for, from being imported until about 2007, um, until that was released, and now they are allowed um, to be imported into the country. And that was due to um, fears of the Asian fruit fly being imported with the fruit. Um, so of course these are imported on quite strict regulations. Now these are tropical fruits often grown in Thailand and they grow on quite a slow growing evergreen tree and of course because it's tropical they need consistent warm temperatures in order to survive and in order to bear fruit. So I'm going to try and germinate these from seed um, and you may be thinking why do you even want to try growing something like this in New Zealand which is not a tropical climate. Um, and the reason that I want to do it is not for them to ever turn into a mature tree or to bear fruit. I just want to give it a try for a learning experience. Um, it's just something good that you'll be able to say I've grown a mangosteen before or even just say that you've tried to grow them and it didn't work for you. Um, but I mean what have I got to lose? I'm going to give it a try anyway and we'll see what happens. So anyway let me take you guys a bit closer in. We're going to have a good look at the fruits and then we're going to try them. So this is what the fruits look like a bit closer up. And when they're picked, they actually have like this leafy thing around the top, similar to a persimmon. Um, but I'd say they would have been removed uh, because of biosecurity. And also on the bottom, there's like this flower sort of shaped thing. And this one has one, two, three, four, five, six um, petals to it. And those correspond to the inside of the fruit. So you'll know that the inside has six segments to it. So to open them, you're supposed to be able to just grab the stalk here and give it a pull like that and it'll pull that off like so and then you should be able to just pry that open so as I said this um, had the six petals on the bottom and here one two three four five six six um, corresponding pieces on the inside so if you look at the inside of the skin here, it has like this red sort of fleshy stuff and that's not edible. Um, the edible part is all of the white flesh in here. So I've heard that it's good to use a fork to eat these. So if I just scoop out a piece like that, it's kind of almost like segments, um, like a mandarin or an orange. See that? So oh, that stuff also stains your fingers. See the red stuff? And that's from the skin. So let me give it a try. That is an amazing fruit, you have to try this. Um, it's so incredibly sweet and tastes almost similar to um, a citrus but not so much. It's not sour or anything. Um, it's just really sweet, really nice. Um, I'm not too sure what the flavour reminds me of. Almost like a peach or something but much more intense and much more delicious actually. Um, the texture is quite soft. Um, a bit slippery sort of, but nice, very nice, um, delicious fruit and definitely worth it. Um, it was quite expensive to buy, I think there's something like $18 a kg, um, but I just got two of them and they weren't too heavy so it wasn't too expensive. So you may have noticed when I first showed you the inside of the fruit, it had about four small sections and then two large sections like this one. Now I've just eaten one of the larger sections and it had a seed in it. Now one thing to know about mangosteens is that they produce recalcitrant seeds, um, also known as unorthodox seeds, which that means like a mango, avocado or lychee, um, the seeds cannot be dried and stored, you need to sow them right away. Um, and also these seeds can't tolerate temperatures less than 10 degrees Celsius. Now unfortunately um, I have had these in the refrigerator over the last couple of days, so I'm hoping that hasn't killed the seeds. Um, in all honesty, it probably has. Yeah, if I do get them to grow, I'll let you know how I did it. And um, yeah, that'll be for a future video. 
So I hope you enjoyed my mangosteen video. I thought these were an amazing fruit. They're so delicious and um, definitely up there with my favourite fruits. So if you can, try and find some of them for yourself. I'll catch you next time. Cheers.